There's two nuts inside here that are bolts that go in this way and those need to be removed as well. They were actually supposed to be taken out before I took the head bolts off so I messed that up. Okay, the bolts in here are loose, the nuts are off the top. I'm going to go ahead and take the cam out, or the, uh, this is sprocket. I'm going to take that out. And at this point, I believe the head should come loose. I'm going to get a mallet. Cylinder came loose. Step. I'm going to go ahead and pull the cylinder out. Carefully with the cam chain, got to make sure to feed it through the hole. There's also this plastic piece here. Oh, there it goes. Okay. cylinder. Okay, this the last stuff I'm going to do off camera because I just don't have a good way of filming it, but I'm going to explain it right quick. Basically, there's a circlip in here. We need to take that out, and I'm going to go ahead and put the new piston in. I'll show you how the new piston goes, but I won't be showing you how I'm installing it on here. Just use, there's plenty of videos out there, just use a set of uh, needle nose pliers, and you'll get it right out. Just to show you what it looks like when it comes out, uh, that little there's the little circlip that comes out. I just used the little pick, got it started, and then grabbed it with needle nose pliers and pops right out. And then I took a seven millimeter socket, deep well, and then just drove this out this way. I might have to drive it a little bit further. Yeah, it's not still not gonna come, so I'll just hit that with the socket again. out. Alright, so now I'm going to install the piston rings and here I've just got some 10W40 in a pan or a container. Here's the piston and some of the rings are kind of started already. Your kit should come with five. Uh, you'll get a compression ring which is this one. Note that it says R at the top. Those will go upwards. Uh, you get an oil scraper and then you'll get two of these metal rings. One's on the piston already other than a doily looking one. The scrunchy one you stick on there in the bottom ring, it's the first one on the bottom. And then you take one of the metal rings and put it in below it. And we'll take another, our second metal ring. And as far as I know these are not directional and they're not marked. And we'll put that one on. Then that goes on top. There we go. Now the clips are down here, so now with these two, what you want to do is you're going to put one, you know, I'll put it up, I'll put the split up at the top. The next one's actually the oil scraper. Don't forget to put just a little bit of oil on there. I'm going to put that in this orientation. Could 
be kind of tricky because it'll want to go on the other grooves. You can see there, it wants to go on that groove. There it goes. So there's that one. I'm going to keep it oriented like that up to the top. And I'm just going to put this one, the compression ring, off to the side like that. From what I understand, you basically just don't want them lining up with each other for obvious reasons. Stuff would get through. Okay, so there the rings are installed. Now it's time to go to the bike, put the wrist pin in. One other thing, I went ahead and put one of the wrist clips in, uh, or the sir clips in on this side. Cause I'm going to install it on the bike and drive the pin in this way and we'll put the second one on, on in the bike. Okay, I've got a fresh razor blade here and I'm just going to go through and knock off any of the remaining gasket material being very careful not to nick the aluminum so I'm holding this razor blade really square at all times light pressure, the gasket material will just scratch right off. I'm just going to go through the whole thing. Okay, with everything cleaned, we're ready to go ahead and install the piston. The EX will go down like that. I got my wrist pin already pre-lubricated with the 1040 oil. Oops, what am I doing here? Just going to go up through like that. simple. Now you want a pair of needle nose pliers. tricky doing on camera but I think I can get it because I'm leaning over the stupid camera. There it be. At this point I'm ready to install the cylinder. Here's a brand new gasket. I'm going to go ahead and put that on first so I don't forget it. Also remember that there are two locator pins and you want to make sure not to forget those. Alright, there I've got the gasket in its rightful place. I also put a thin coat of oil throughout the cylinder here and this is going to be the tricky part to do on camera I'll do my best you gotta put this thing on okay cam chain is going to go through here like that and then the tricky part is I've got to squeeze these rings in while I'm starting this cylinder and I might have to do it off camera actually I'm just gonna go ahead and do that but what you do is you squeeze these and you'll work them in one at a time carefully and I just can't do it the camera's right in my freaking way um, but you just squeeze them in and then slowly press the head down take your time don't let things bind it's no big deal <laughs> 